Sorry, guys. On、uh, my previous recording, uh, uh, my uh, camera died while I reached this step when calculating the temperature coefficient of the collector current with respect to temperature. So let's basically continue that. We're still at part D of、uh, question two.、Uh, we uh, basically said that、uh, minus alpha. Uh, multiplied by delta Vb by delta T divided by Re is the temperature coefficient of uh, uh, the collector current, and if we plug those values, since we know all this,、uh, this part basically comes from here. And actually, to get this part, if you really want to dig into it, it actually comes from the Eber Eber's mole equation, where it relates the collector current with respect to、uh, the base emitter voltage of the transistor. So this. This this、uh, temp temperature coefficient of VBE, the base emitter voltage, comes from there. So since now we have derived this expression, if we plug those values in,、uh, if you plug、uh, alpha, which we know because alpha is beta divided beta plus one, and beta in this case is hundred because we guaranteed it's not going to change,、uh, and RE equals one point five K. So we plug these values in, we get the actual temperature coefficient of the collector current. Is minus one point four five micron per degree C. So you can see that as the、uh, basically the actually uh, my bad uh, this should be positive right because we have this expression and we put in minus two point two here、uh, this should be positive. So in fact、uh, the collector current will incre increase by a factor、uh, by By a value of one point four five microamp per degree C, so as the VBE decreases by minus two point two millivolt per degree C, so that's how much the current will increase. So, and if you want in percentage,、uh, we just take the calculated、um, uh, temperature coefficient, we divide it by the nominal the nominal current that we calculated. And if we multiply by hundred, we get zero point two one four six percent per degree C. So in fact, the collector current will increase by、uh, by a percentage of zero point two one four per degree C. So now we'll continue to read the last part of、uh, part D of question、uh, number two of the art of electronics, and we'll conclude uh, this uh, problem solving session. So the last part of question.、Um, Uh, part D says, "What is the temperature coefficient of the output current, assuming that HFE increases from its nominal value of 100 by 0.4 percent per degree C?" Now, as you can see, as the question、uh, indicated, we have two effects to consider. Not only do we have the temperature effect on base emitter voltage, but also now the HFE is getting affected. So now we have to count two effects of the temperature on two parameters of the transistor, on、uh, VB and on HFE.、Uh, so uh, if we continue、uh, with our first equation, which is IC equals. So if we get closer here, alpha multiplied by VB minus、uh, VB divided by RE.、Uh, now in order for uh, to um, take this into account, because now two two、uh, parameters are getting affected by temperature. Alpha and VB, we distribute this alpha into the equation. We get this expression. Uh, now uh, we'll use a product rule. Now, if we take the partial differential of、uh, the collector current with respect to、uh, temperature,、uh, we'll have this expression. And also here we have to use product rule. Here、uh, we have used product rule to get the effects of. Uh, the temperature on alpha and VBE, so the expression becomes this. And if we manipulate this a little more, it becomes VBE divided by RE minus VBE divided by RE, which is our, our original expression, but with the partial differential of alpha with respect to temperature, and minus this expression,、uh, which is the effects of temperature on VBE as well. And in order to plug, we know these values. In order to plug these values, we have to calculate this term here, the partial differential of、uh, alpha with respect to temperature, which is basically alpha equals、uh, beta divided by beta plus one, and.
and alpha in this case is since beta is 100 uh, basically it's uh, 0 0.9901 and if we take the percentage of 0 0.4 per degree C effect on it and the uh, delta alpha by delta T we get 3.96 times 10 to the power minus 3 per degree C so now if we put those values in into this expression we get 4.156 microamp per degree C and if we want to get the percentage of now the combined effects of HFE and VBE with respect to temperature we get uh, uh, basically with the nominal current we get 0.615 percent per degree C so as you can see the combined effect is actually worse than the only temperature effect on VBE so this is the combined temperature effect on VBE and HFE on the temperature so if we actually get this this is in terms of percentage so if we do this I see this is in terms of percentage so the percentage of the current from the nominal nominal value of uh, six seven five point six microamp is with respect to temperature is 0.615 percent per degree C so that basically completes uh, solving the question number two, chapter two of the art of electronics.